Hello all. So about two months ago, I did a review on the MyPin um, Bluetooth receiver slash DAC slash headphone amplifier. This is a really cool little product. I really like it. It came in at like $25. I'm not really sure where the price point is now. Could be a little higher, a little lower. But um, it's got a, la a lot of bang for the buck. And I really have grown to like this little device. Um, it has a really nice sounding headphone amplifier. Um, I, you know, I just have some entry level uh, $79 Audio Technica headphones, which I I like, and they they match this really well. I also like the fact that this volume control here or gain control will um, adjust will adjust the output to your RCAs, so you can adjust the um, gain to your receiver. If you have a vintage receiver that may be a little deaf or a little neutral sounding, this may be the uh, the DAC for you. This um, is Bluetooth 5.0, and it has a really good sound to it. Um, it sounds very natural in the mids and highs. It's not too forward and in your face like some of these are. However, um, they've I think my pin's gone in and maybe made a little tweak to the low end output in this because the low end frequencies in this are a little boosted. They're a little punchy, and that's what makes this thing really fun. This is a fun unit to listen to. So it's got that nice punchy sound to it. Even though it's 25 bucks, to me, it sounds like 125 bucks. All right. Now, the problem is, is it has some digital noise when switching between tracks. And it's somewhat annoying, actually. Um, it is apparent through the RCA outputs. It's very apparent through the headphone output. Um, and that's because, you know, the headphones are just clamped right onto your ears. And you, yes, you have to turn the gain up quite a ways, you know, two thirds of the way plus to really hear it, but the noise is there. And I wanted my pin to hear this, so I'm making this for, yes, you, my YouTube viewers. I'm also making this for my pin because I really like this device, and it's like just so close to being perfect or darn near perfect, in my opinion, other than that little noise. So I'm wondering if I have a defective unit, which happens, and um, or is this a design flaw? So if it's a design flaw, then I'd like to alert them. So here's what I'm doing to make this down and dirty recording, okay? I'm going from analog RCA out of the my pin to analog RCA input of my handy dandy art uh, USB Phono Plus. I use this as a handshake to take analog signals and turn them into MP3 style signals that I can, um, you know, put on my laptop. So I've done this quite a bit over the years. This works really well for me. So I thought, well, this may be a good way to do that. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to, I've just randomly picked uh, um, Foreigner Double Vision off my uh, cell phone. By the way, this does it on my tablet, my cell phone, and uh, my laptop. So it doesn't matter what I'm streaming um, with, this, the noise still comes through here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of randomly go from song to song. And you guys may need to put your headphones on to hear this, but you will hear this little digital noise. All right, so let's do that. All right, well, that was fun. Did you guys hear the noise? Uh, you may have to go back uh, a couple times and search for it, uh, but it's in there, and it's even more prevalent uh, coming out the uh, the front headphone jack. And I've done that test with the front head headphone jack into the RCAs. However, I'm getting a little bit of hum, and it's probably from my, my shop lights and all my electronic gear around here. I have various power supplies on and stuff, and um, it, the, I just didn't... You know, it does the same digital noise. I just didn't want you guys to have to experience the hum. So I, I spared you from that. But anyway, all right, you guys, uh, leave questions or comments down below. Tell me if you've ever heard this come through any of your uh, Bluetooth units before. And um, if you did, what solved the problem? I know it's not cables or anything like that. I've used really high-end cables uh, to interface between this unit and my receiver. And I've used like really entry level bulker units, which is what I'm using now, because honestly, it just makes no difference. I've used little ferrite beads to just see if, you know, just anything could um, could uh, be external that was causing that noise. And it's definitely not. So, all right, you guys, thanks for watching. Please leave questions or comments down below. Cheers.